Hello everyone, it's Maria here with you today and I am back for Not Too Shabby. I'm going to share with you three cards showcasing some of the components from the April craft box kit from Not Too Shabby. And for this stamp set, this is called Time to Relax, I am going to use the floral images on the stamp set. I am also going to use some of the ephemera die cut pieces from this pack and this April box is full of goodies and I really love it. I will also be using this Lazy Day paper pad as well as the stamp set from my favorite things this one is called spring wreath and i will only be using the wreath there and the happy everything sentiment also be using the coordinating dies so let's get started since I will be creating three cards for you today, I will not be showing you any coloring. What I did off camera was I stamped the images on some Bristol Smooth White cardstock and Versamark ink, then heat set with my heating tool using the floral images from the Time to Relax stamp set. I colored the images in with my SIG Clean Color Real Brush Markers and I really love how it turned out. Since the images were heat embossed with white embossing powder, I couldn't use my brother skin and cut, so I used my precision snips to fussy cut the images. And now I'm going to stamp the spring wreath on some Nina Solar White cardstock, and I was just running my fingers through the stamp set to get rid of the uh, oils from the manufacturing and I stamped that twice using my Memento Rich Cocoa ink. I'm going to use the die to die cut the image and I colored the image off camera using the coordinating die. And this is a cover plate by LDRS Creative from the spring release. And I dry embossed that with my embossing pad. And then I'm going to adhere that on an A2 size garb base with some liquid glue. I really love using the cover plate dies to dry emboss it instead of die cutting it because it just gives you a really nice texture. I'm going to assemble the card now and adhere the spring wreath first with some liquid glue and then add the floral images from the not too shabby stamp set. The first floral image will be foam mounted to the cards for added dimension and then the rest of the floral images will be adhered with liquid glue. So the rest of the process will be pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm just going to put some music on and I'll be right back once everything is done.
For added dimension, I am going to add some foam adhesive to pop up the other flower and I use my bone folder to just lift the petals a little bit for added dimension and then I'm using some stardust stickles to add just a little bit of interest to the flowers. And the sentiment was already stamped from a previous project that I made and those were just the leftovers and I thought this was perfect to add as a sentiment to this floral card. So those are the three cards today showcasing components from the April craft kit from Not Too Shabby. This April craft kit is a definite must have for any paper crafter. And here is the floral spring wreath card using the florals from the Time to Relax stamp set, the cat and the florals from the ephemera pack included in the kit. You can definitely create a lot of projects using the kit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you like the cards, I'd be grateful if you can kindly give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by today and happy crafting!